Hello guys! In this lesson I will talk about two Excel functions VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is an Excel function to look up data in a table organized vertically and you can uh, notice it from the name VLOOKUP and V stands for the vertical. There's another function as well HLOOKUP that uh, looks up in a horizontal way. In case you want to um, combine them, or does not matter if it's vertical or horizontal, you can use the combination of two Excel functions, index and match. But later I will discuss a new function so powerful that you don't have to differentiate between vertical or horizontal. It can handle uh, both of the directions. But let's um, check uh, the VLOOKUP example first and then I will um, show the XLOOKUP example. Here I have two tables. This is the first table. I have three columns, country abbreviations, names and sales. And in another one I have um, country abbreviations and I have orders. What I want to do, I want these orders numbers to be integrated in this table. And for that I will use the VLOOKUP function. Orders, I will add a new column to the table. We are working with tables, so once I edit a new column there, it is automatically the part of the table. If you want to um, know more details about uh, working with tables, uh, please check uh, one of the videos from the, the previous ones. Well, here I will enter the VLOOKUP function. And then this is the syntax and it has uh, four arguments and all of the four arguments are the mandatory ones. The first one is the lookup value. This is the uh, value that we want to search in another table. So I will click on that cell. And the second argument is table array. So I will go to the table from where I want to look up numbers from. And I will select the complete table. We are working with tables and this table has the name of this. Working with tables is quite uh, handy actually and uh, it saves time as well. The next argument is the column number where the lookup uh, numbers are sitting. So we have this table now. It has only two columns and we want to look up the orders. So the number that we must enter here is two. And the last argument, this is also mandatory, is true or false. Like if you want them to have the exact match, then you will use false. And mainly we want to have the exact matches. True approximate match you can use when you are working with ranges and groups. In this case, I want the exact match, exact number, so I will enter false, close parentheses, and we have it here. Let's format it. Well, it is quite a fast way to integrate two tables together. Now let's uh, use uh, a modern counterpart uh, of the we look up and that is XLOOKUP. It is from uh, 2020 and last year we got several very powerful functions in Excel and one of them is XLOOKUP. And I will start typing now and I will explain the differences. But when you type the function you see the syntax and it, it looks like uh, long compared to the VLOOKUP syntax. It contains uh, six arguments. But actually, only three of them are the mandatory arguments. Uh, three of them are uh, the last three ones are the optional ones. Let's start entering the mandatory ones first. Lookup value, like in the previous in the lookup example, is this cell that we want to look up. And then lookup array. In the lookup, we have selected the complete table. In this one. In the X lookup, we will select only the column. So that is one of the first differences. The next one is the return array. In the VLOOKUP, we have entered the number of the column where the lookup value was sitting. In this case, in the X lookup, we will enter the column name. 
And actually, these are all the mandatory arguments. If I close parentheses here, we have the numbers already. So it is. It, it, it even takes less, less time than we look up. Now let's talk about um, more differences between them. If you check um, this uh, we look up uh, function, when we could not, uh, when the function could not find this country in another table, it gave NA. And actually the same we have from the X lookup. In the VLOOKUP situation, when I did not want to see NAs, I was nesting VLOOKUP in the IF ERROR function. So IF ERROR VLOOKUP and if there is no match or something goes wrong, give me some uh, text or give me the empty cell. In the XLOOKUP, if we continue typing more arguments here, this is argument number four that um, was not mandatory, if we enter empty string in the quotation marks, or you can enter a, instead of the empty string, you can enter some text here, yeah, not, not found or whatever you want, then enter. Instead of NA, we have the um, empty cell. So it is directly incorporated in this formula in, in, in the situations that you don't want to see NAs. If we move to the next optional argument, that is the, um, the match that we want. Like in the X look, uh, we look up situation, we enter the false or true depending on the match. And here, by default, it is the exact match. So zero is exact match, but you don't have to enter it. It is by default. If you don't want the exact match and you uh, would like other situations that we have in this list, then you will enter minus one, one or two. And the last argument is the search mode. By default, and that is one, just for the example, I'm entering it, but if you omit it, by default, it will be one, search first to last. And if you want it to search in, in another way, then you will enter minus one, two, or minus two. So it gives more flexibility here, and it is much more powerful than it was like we look up, uh, H look up, index and match together. Like uh, one of the biggest limitation uh, in the we look up was because um, we, when we were entering the hard number, the column name, that we wanted to use for the lookup. And it could happen that that column name was changed. Like if we have another column in the between, this is not uh, the column two anymore. So then the numbers here disappear and then you must go there and change the column number and it comes back. And in the situations like that uh, was the index and match uh, useful, but now, in the XLOOKUP situation, we don't have to worry about that because what we enter is the column name. So it does not matter if the column changes the location in the table. We still uh, have the name fixed here, so it will stay. And one more difference, we look up was um, looking the columns from the left. So. This was uh, the first uh, argument that we are using for the search. And that search lookup uh, value must be in the first column of the lookup table. If it was not in the first column, in the left uh, first left one, it uh, would not look it up. But in the X lookup, it does not matter if it's the first one or in between or at the end. So these are the differences. And uh, if you use all the optional parameters, it will give more powerful possibilities that uh, XLOOKUP has. And um, well, and for the usage and time, it does not take longer than typing we look up because uh, we have only three mandatory parameters. And if you want to add more options uh, like the empty strings and so on, 
you can um, always add it. Well, big, uh, good developments from Excel. Well, that was uh, all for this lesson, and uh, I hope that this was uh, quite a useful information for you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.